Want to take an opportunity now, however, to uh, give you the man of the hour, Anthony Noreen, new head coach of the Orlando Solar Bears. Well, first off, to, to everyone who showed up tonight, thank you very much. Uh, much appreciated. Obviously, it shows the, the type of organization, the type of support uh, that there is around here for this hockey club. Um, like to thank the people from the Solar Bears front office. Um, everyone's made me feel at home from, from the moment I've gotten here. Um, you know, it's been nothing but, but open arms and, and welcoming um, from the people in the front office. Uh, like to thank the guys uh, from, the, from the Marlies and, and the Maple Leafs uh, for coming down. Kyle, you know, it means a lot for you guys to show up and come down here. Uh, most importantly, uh, Jason and Joe, th thank you for the opportunity. Um, this is what I love to do. Uh, you know, some guys grew up and they, they want to be a baseball player or they want to be the president. I wanted to be a hockey coach from the moment I was born. And uh, what, what, what made this easy for me was um, I, I've always tried to go into places and I've always tried to evaluate things based on the people involved in it. And I can tell you that right from the first time I spoke with Jason, um, from the t first time I came down here and, and met Joe and saw the area and saw the facilities and, and met people around here um, from going up to development camp, uh, with the Maple Leafs and spending some time there and getting to meet the people with the Maple Leafs and the Marlies and the people that make that operation go. Um, first class, from, from top to bottom, uh, first class organization. And, and again, that was, that was the most attractive thing uh, to me, was, was the people that were going to be involved in this and the people that I was going to be able to work with on a daily basis. So at the end of the day, it was extremely hard to leave Youngstown, um, but it was extremely easy to come and join a great organization like this. Um, and for the Toronto Maple Leafs and Marley's organization, well, what an exciting time uh, with what they're building there and, and the pieces they're putting in place, personnel-wise and, and, and staff-wise. I think it's just an exciting time to be uh, to be part of that organization. I think we're extremely lucky uh, to be. Uh, as far as the type of players um, that, that I expect to be here and that we want here, um, guys with elite character, guys that, that do things the right way on and off the ice, that represent this town, this organization, the right way all the time. Uh, guys with elite work ethic, um, and I stress the word elite in, in both of those categories. Um, I expect guys to come to the rink with a smile on their face every day and leave everything they have in whatever they're doing, whether it's an appearance in the community, whether it's in the weight room, or whether it's on the ice in a practice or a game. I, I expect everything out of every guy. And everything I expect out of the guys, they're going to get right back from me. And I've had the opportunity to meet a couple of the guys and speak with a couple of the guys. Um, and, and I've told them, you know, may, maybe they've had coaches come down here or they've had coaches before that have, have been kind of the dictator type guys. And that's not me. Um, I'm going to be right in with the guys. Everything I expect them to do, I'm going to do twofold. Um, I'll lead the way as far as community goes. I'll lead the way as far as acting the right way, eating the right way, sleeping the right, whatever it is um, that I ask them to do, I'm going to do the same thing. Um, I, I think my job here is, is pretty simple as far as I see it. Um, number one, continue the great tradition uh, of giving back to this community. Um, and again, make sure I'm leading the way in doing that. Uh, number two, help these guys develop into responsible young men. Um, help them grow up, show them what it takes to be a pro. Um, again, help them become better men. Uh, I think that's on me to do that. Um, third thing uh, would be help me become better hockey players. Be a teacher. Uh, Jason used the word teacher, and, and again, I think there's a lot of parallels between teachers and coaches. I think, you know, again, my number one job is to be a teacher for these young men. Um, show, them, show them the way, whether it's through video, whether it's on ice, whether it's talking to them one-on-one, -on -one, whether it's going to lunch with them, whether it's getting to know them um, and what makes them tick. Uh, those are things I need to do to help these guys get better and hopefully move on to the next level. Um, and the last thing is have results on the ice. Um, make a stride to win a championship every year. Uh, win hockey games. Send guys to the next level. Move guys up to the Marlies and hopefully to the Maple Leafs. Um, and I'm a big believer that number four results gets taken care of by doing those first three things the right way. Um, so I don't really talk about wins, losses, championships very, very often. You won't hear me say that very much. But I will talk about getting out in the community. I will talk about developing people. And I, I will talk about developing hockey players. And again, I think you do those th three things right. The fourth one kind of takes care of itself. So um, I look forward to getting to meet everyone here. Uh, I'm excited as can be to be here. Uh, I, I hope that we're going to bring a, a style of hockey that's going to make this area proud. Um, I, I like to play an up-paced game. Uh, I like to play fast, I like to play hard, I like to play physical. Um, I like my teams to have a ton of energy. I think it's one that, that fans will hopefully like and, and be able to get behind. 
Um, and again, I look forward to hopefully being able to, to bring a championship to Orlando and uh, continue the great tradition that, that's been set before me. So look forward to meeting everyone. Thank you guys very much for coming out tonight.